Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at creating the Andy Warhol effect. Uh, I guess that's what we'll call it. It's this kind of style of photographic digital painting uh, thing that he did quite a bit of. Uh, apparently I'm not like a huge uh, Andy Warhol fan and I just caught myself using the word like and I don't normally use like like that uh, So we're gonna take a look at creating this Andy Warhol effect uh, in Photoshop And this is basically the finished product. So I'm gonna close this down and I'm gonna drag in an untouched photograph of That very model matter of fact same photograph and uh, Basically the first thing that I like to do is go in and increase the contrast there's a number of ways we can do this. I'm just going to go image adjustments, brightness, contrast. And I'm going to grab the contrast, bring it all the way up to 100. Hit OK. And you could even do that a second time. Uh, image adjustments, brightness, contrast. And, you know, really lift that contrast. Uh, maybe it's just going to come to around 40, 45. There we go. Next, what I want to do is duplicate this layer. Command or Control J. And we want to convert this to grayscale. We can quickly do that by using the hotkey Control Shift U. Just converts that layer to black and white. Black and white, color, black and white. All right, what we want to do next is go layer, new adjustment layer, posterize. And uh, we're going to hit OK. And we have our adjustments panel here. Four levels might be a little too much. Let's try three. Our no, three is not enough. Four probably still maybe isn't enough. Let's see what five gives us. I'm just looking for good edge definition. We really don't need any kind of detail. I just really want to be able to see the edges. I'm just seeing if I can bring the edge of that arm back. If I can't, no big deal. Um, but I want it to be as rough as possible, and we'll go ahead and you know start coloring it. Uh, so I'm going to stick with four levels, uh, which I initially said I didn't think was right, but turns out that is right. And we have our posterized layer right in place. All right, the next step is actually pretty easy. Uh, and if you want, you can shut the posterized layer off um, and just so you can see the model underneath, you know, so you can see those edges. Uh, I'm actually gonna turn it on. I might turn it off later. Uh, and I'm just gonna create a new layer by hitting the new layer button. And we're gonna double click on this and uh, call this hair. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna start coloring everything in and then setting you know everything to certain blend modes and uh, we'll get our effect. I actually am gonna shut off the posterize um, layer now that I'm looking at it. I'm going to zoom in on her head here. And I am going to go ahead and grab the brush tool, hotkey B, and I'm going to set a foreground color, uh, just sort of an orangey yellow, uh, really whatever, th nothing too particular here. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger here. And I'm going to go ahead and just start painting over uh, the hair. Now, we don't really want to be too fine or exacting. Um, you know, we're just sort of, you know, rough chopping it in. That's sort of, you know, the style. Uh, at least, you know, what I looked at that seemed to be the style. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. And if you're following along doing exactly what I'm doing, it's probably what you're getting. All right, got the top of the head pretty much done. I'm going to just grab these little sort of strands of hair shooting down here onto her chest. There we go. And just erase that little bit right there. Oh, my mistake. Just gonna undo a couple times. There we go. And touch that up. There we go. Alright, so we've got the hair. And now for checking out blend modes, we'll turn the posterized layer back on. And we're gonna set the blend mode. Let's try something like multiply. I kinda like that. Let's see what overlay does. Eh, don't really like that. Soft light, nah. Color burn, nah. We're, I think we're gonna stick with multiply here. Notice when we shut off the posterized layer, it looks a bit different. Um, what we're going to do next is basically just split up, you know, her body. We're going to do all the skin tones. We would do the shirt. We would do the skirt. We would do the background. I'd probably even do the flower here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to paint all of those areas in, each on their own layer. Matter of fact, I'm going to create a new layer right here, right now before I pause, and I'm going to call this uh, shirt um, or blouse or whatever the technical name is. Looks like a shirt to me. Um, so, and then right here on this layer, I would paint this a color. I'm actually going to use a green, but I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to split all this stuff into layers, and I'll see you in just a second. All right, well, I'm back, and as you can see, I just have a very rough painted in, uh, basically painted over the skin, over the shirt, hair, background, and the skirt. 
Uh, and what I want to do right off the bat is make sure I have my posterize layer turned on because as I start cycling through blend modes, I really want to be able to see what I'm going to get. With the background, I'm just going to reduce the opacity to something like 70%, like so. And then we're going to go to skin and we're going to start cycling through blend modes. Let's check out multiply. Uh, not bad, maybe a little dark. Uh, color burn, too contrasting. I like linear burn. Let's compare that with multiply. Multiply is actually a little lighter, so I think we're going to go with multiply there. And uh, let's check out the shirt here. And again, let's check out multiply. Bit dark. Let's try something like soft light. Eh. Overlay. Overlay is not bad. I think we're going to stick with overlay there. And let's check out the, sh the uh, skirt. Let's go with multiply on that. I'll just try to darken it up a little bit. And notice we got some rough edges. We can go in there and clean them up. I'm not going to for the sake of uh, saving time. And there we go. We have basically the base effect. What you may want to do is go in above the skin layer and do something, you know, accenting the eyes. Um, I noticed some of his stuff, either the lips have this sort of strong red painted uh, over them or around them or the eyes. So I'm gonna go with the eyes here and I'm just gonna choose, you know, just a, a, a very dark red, uh, much darker than, you know, naturally lips would be. Now, obviously this is above the eyes. Um, and I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna paint with some red right in there. Just like so. And that's it. And then we're gonna set this to something like, let's try multiply or color burn or maybe soft light. Yeah, soft light doesn't look too bad. Um, so we just have sort of that red accent above the eyes. And then basically the only thing left to do is really add that faded look to them. This is, this although is starting to look much more faded than the original photo, still isn't nearly as faded as some of uh, the original, you know, works of art. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my layers panel out here so you can see and we're going to add an adjustment layer here, this little half white, half a black circle. I'm going to choose solid color and what I'm going to do is I'm looking for a light desaturated blue, like so, maybe right down here in this region. Hit OK and we're going to set this guy to, let's try soft light. You can see there's before, there's after. We're just giving the whole image a blue tint. And what did I just do with my layers panel? Uh, go window layers. There we go. Uh, the last thing to do is go ahead and add another solid color adjustment layer before I lose my train of thought. And I'm going to set hue here to zero and saturation here to zero as well. And then we're going to set brightness to 50%. We're just looking for a completely middle gray. And that's completely middle gray, just brightness at 50%. Hit OK. And what we're going to try is we're going to try setting this layer to overlay before or after. Not really anything going on. Soft light, same thing. Hard light, eh, nothing really there. Screen, screen is really starting to fade it. That's pretty nice. Uh, I think we're going to stick with screen and just reduce the opacity. Somewhere between probably 30 and 50. Let's, uh, yeah, 40 looks pretty good. You can see there's without that, there it is with it. So adding those two color adjustment layers takes it from being very strong and contrasting to just, you know, being pretty faded and washed out. Uh, and that's it. Uh, that's, that's the Andy Warhol effect uh, reincarnated in Photoshop. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And please go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com. Mm -hmm.